Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here. Today's video topic is a question. Do you want to be a bull or do you want to be a mule? And by bull, I mean alpha, giga chad, alpha male, and by mule, I mean beta male, provider, teddy bear, shoulder to cry on, that type of thing. There's always things in the middle of that, but this video we're gonna focus on these two. So yesterday I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who is a manager of a waxing studio in the Atlanta area. And as most of you know, part of the topics that we cover on this channel are female behavior. It's something that I'm deeply interested in. It's something that is very deep and broad, it's something that's very dynamic and ever-changing, especially in today's society. So uh, it's just something I'm very interested in. So when I interview different females on, on different subjects, uh, sometimes we'll create a video to share this insight. It's, most of the viewers of this channel are, are males. And if you're interested in females, this will be of high value to you. So basically, I'm not sure how I got on this particular topic with her, but she was just talking away and I was just listening. So the vast majority of her clients, being a, a waxing studio, are females, most of which are females aged from, say, 30 to 50 years of age. And a large portion of her clients, we're not gonna mention any names, we're gonna keep this as PG as possible, so a large number of her clients are married. And basically what she told me is the vast majority of these married females also have a guy on the side. It might be uh, just a familiar acquaintance, might be a personal trainer, might be a pool boy, something. Basically whereby they are getting their physical, their intimate needs taken care of with the Alpha Chad, AKA the Bull, and yet they have their husband at home, the AKA the Mule slash Provider Beta Male, that's what we're calling it for the sake of terminology. So basically women, and I, I knew this is, this has always went on, women have had uh, a guy on the side here or there, I mean, that's something that's always been the case. But the fact that it is so prevalent and common now, the vast majority of these women have this arrangement. And the difference today is not just the, the vast majority have this arrangement, but the fact that they are becoming more and more open about it, not necessarily with the, the two men involved, but the fact that they are openly sharing it with friends. This particular girl that I know who's the manager, her clients are basically bragging to her about it. They are showing her things on their phones, basically just verifying it. And basically women are just becoming more and more open about it. And society is, is definitely facilitating this. And I, I see that this is just going to go even further. And I, I do believe that a lot of males out there are even open to the fact that they also know the husbands and the, the, the side guys basically are aware of what the females are doing and they're okay with it. That's sometimes the case these days and growing. But the fact is a, a lot of times especially in the past, women would try to find a guy to satisfy both the bull and the mule side of things, the alpha and the beta, and one man. Nowadays, they're realizing, hey, it's, it's almost impossible to find a guy that is both of those things in one. So basically, they're just opting for both. They got their bull that takes care of their physical needs, and, and in that regard, and then they got their mule. Basically, they're just compartmentalizing their lives. 
and and they've come to the realization that you cannot have one man for both. It just highly, highly unlikely that that is a possibility and that that will satisfy them. So that's what they're doing. They're, they're choosing both. They're being successful at that and they're being ever more open about these facts. So what can you do as a man? Well, what you can do is you need to choose which one do you want to be? Do you want to be the bull that primarily takes care of the physical needs of a woman? Or do you want to be the mule, the guy who's at home taking care of the, the children, being the soft teddy bear, the shoulder to cry on? Do you want to be that guy? Because even if you can sort of hold both frames at the same time, the likelihood of you sustaining both of those frames, the bull and the mule, in the long term is highly, highly unlikely. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible, but I would say it'd be extremely difficult, extremely rare, very low percentage there. So if you want to simplify your life and make your life easier, more transparent, choose to be one or the other. And I think most guys would probably, most hetero guys would probably choose to be the bull in this situation. So uh, I think this is an interesting topic. I'd like for you all to comment down below on your thoughts on these facts. And again, I, I have seen this and basically this female that told me all this information is just completely verifying my already established theories on these thoughts. And I just felt the need to put a video out to generate a conversation on this. So go ahead and tap the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. I'll add a link for the spot for the channel channel sponsor Tactical Soap. It's a natural soap company that does not disrupt your endocrine system and your hormone levels. Check it out; it smells great. It's super healthy. Share this video and place all the comments down below on your thoughts on this. On do you want to be the bull or the mule? The choice is yours. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.